up my full throttle to give me energy because it is like seven in the morning. I just gotta go to Drops by J on Twitter or Instagram if you prefer Instagram, but I'm using Twitter. He is the plug, as you guys may know, and discuss this absolute garbage Supreme drop. Oh my gosh, this is so embarrassing. Bang, bitch, holler when you feel this. Fresh up by the county, tell them hoes to get up on me. I was in that motherfucker with some killers. Plugged in with the shooters in the ceilings for the cane. I feel like crack at the money game. Fuck what the mother say. What up, YouTube? Welcome to the and Today we'll be going over the second week in the Supreme fall winter season. And I must say that this drop is absolute trash. I'm almost kind of glad we're having this garbage week. And the reason for that is because. I feel like if we have this garbage week early on, hopefully we have nothing but fire coming on in the upcoming weeks. So I'm trying to keep a positive mindset because I know there's a lot of heat dropping this season. You guys see me styling stuff on my Instagram. If you don't follow me, change that. My Instagram is at the Star Life. There'll be some on the screen in the description below. So you guys know I'm cashing out every single week. Oh, and also, if you want to follow anything, make sure you follow my Twitter. My Twitter is at the Star Life as well. That'll also be somewhere on the screen in the description below. I will be doing polls on items that are dropping this week. I'll probably do a poll on the Doc Martens, maybe the Digi Camo. If there's any other polls that you guys would like to see, of course, you can let me know on my Twitter and I will try to accommodate your poll and possibly post a poll for you and see like which items or what colorways people are going for. So yeah, go follow me on Instagram and Twitter, both of which are at the Star Life. And now let's get into it and discuss this terrible drop list. It's just such a letdown, man. Anyways, okay. First up, we have the Chief Harrington jacket. Now this piece is kind of fire, actually. It's got a big uh, like Indian chief on the back. It looks to be embroidered. You got a Harrington jacket. It's not like crazy out there on the front. In fact, if you look at the picture of it hanging on the rack, it just looks like a plain Harrington jacket. So I do feel like this is a pretty dope, subtle piece that like doesn't like brand flex too majorly. However, that being said, it's probably not going to be a piece that I will acquire. Now, they have some other jackets dropping. They have these velvet jackets dropping. And I kind of like the Sacred Hearts velvet jacket, low key copping that with the Doc Martens. If that is your fit or like your style, I should say, that would kind of be a fire little outfit, the black on black ones. Ooh, um, they got the pink and the blue. I'm not gonna cop the velvet jackets. I'm just not that big of a fan of that jacket or even that material really. They have the Digi camo bomber jackets and they're dropping that in a pink camo, a navy camo, and a desert camo. Now I think the pink camo is kind of fire. As you guys know last week they dropped the camo camp caps that would actually correlate with these jackets. Uh, this is a reversible jacket if you look online. It's really dope. I like the pink one. I mean, like, the homie Devin said it best. He is also a prior veteran, and a lot of this camo stuff, like, some camo stuff is cool to me. Like, I like the pink camo, or I like certain kinds of camo, but wearing a camo that you actually wore in the service, just, it doesn't feel like a fashion statement. It feels like something you used to wear to go to work. Uh, while I'm discussing, like, homies like Devin, I need to give a huge shout out to buy Luke Thacker. This dude has helped me out so much and saved me so much time this season. I'm probably gonna shout him out in more videos to come because seriously, like this dude has saved me hours and hours of work. To be honest, I probably would not have had time to post this video today if it was not for him helping me clip out some of these images. As you guys know, that takes some time to do that every single week and he actually did that for me and he's done like a good majority of the items from this supreme season so huge shout out to him i cannot say thank you enough like seriously bro the fact that i have people that hook me up like that and like he just offered that bro like that's crazy to me this dude spent like a like straight like eight hours clipping out stuff for the supreme season or fall winter preview and the fact that he just did that for me bro like that's so sick to me man he's a homie for sure and if we are ever in the same area i need to link up with the bro <laughs> what the hell was his hand motion this is two people hanging out okay anyways the other jacks we have we have these anoraks which they kind of they look a little thicker kind of like some old puffy jackets. I'm not a big fan of that shiny material. As I said with the CDG shit, it kind of reminds me of like an old Missy Elliott video or something. Me, I'm super fly, super duper fly. I'm not a fan. So that's it for the jackets. We do have two long sleeves. We have another uh, like Supreme stripe long sleeve, which says Supreme World is yours. And then it has like Supreme and micro script going all the way around the long sleeve. I guess that's dropping again. Or did it not drop online? I don't know. I know that dropped in store. But uh, regardless, that piece is fire and low key. If you want a dope long sleeve, that is a pretty sick piece. I think that's a, I don't know, I like that a lot. I saw it in person, I think it's super dope. Another dope long sleeve that they are dropping is the uh, 
uh, I forgot what it's called, something like We're the Best or The Best. I don't, it's, I don't think it says We're the Best, but it's something like The Best in the World or something. And it looks like it has like this like Buddha or like Hindu type design on the front of it. It comes in a multitude of colorways. I think this long sleeve is sick, and I'm probably going to go for the black and the pink. They're also dropping an athletic long sleeve. These, I think, are kind of weak to me. I don't really know what the material is going to be like. It just kind of has this little athletic logo. Now, the jersey they're dropping is absolutely disgusting. I do not like this jersey at all. Like, low-key, if you look at it from afar, it's not too bad. You know, it's just a, a regular jersey in some terrible colorways. But then, if you look up, like, if you, if you look at this online, it's a glitter arc logo. What? Why? That jersey is a definite pass. But hey, I'm glad they're dropping it in this week so that way we can just get some of this garbage right out of the way and prepare for the future weeks of fire. You're too loud. People are sleeping. Okay, anyways, some uh, button ups we have. We have this really tacky looking button up with this really just ugly print all over. We have this other like work button up that comes in a multitude of colorways. Some of the colorways are actually kind of fire. The only thing that ruins it for me personally is it has the Supreme little circle logo just all over the upper top and you guys know me I like branding I love branding in fact I don't mind if a brand I support says supreme or palace or FTP all over that thing I fucks with it I don't care like that doesn't stop me from buying it I'm not like one of those kids that's like so oh my god like I'm just not a hype beast bro so like I will spend tons of money on these brands but like I don't want anyone to know that I'm wearing this brand that's not me I don't care like if I support the brand I like it when it says the brand however that being said I just feel like this branding was implemented very terribly it looks really just kind of placed on there randomly and it's just it's just tacky to me. Some hoodie slash sweatshirts. We got the compact logo. I think the compact logo is kind of clean to be honest. I think it was Duva that was saying she's not a big fan of the compact logo. Um, I I don't know. I think it's kind of clean, but I don't think it's worth the price point. I would not pay 160 or even 150 or probably even 140 for a hoodie that just says Supreme in like real small letters. Another hoodie we have dropping is the FML hoodie. I'm trying to reduce my cursing because the last four or five videos I've posted have all been flagged, even though I've been censoring them. <sighs> Anyways, it says Supreme and big branding across the front, and then it says F them all. I'm pretty sure you guys know what F stands for. It stands for Foo Foo. It comes in a multitude of colors. It's got a paisley pattern inside. It looks to be printed, and uh, I don't know. I might get the pink one to post on Robitus and Poppy where I resell a lot of Supreme. It does... It has a big branding on it, so it might have like some resale, but I'll probably end up selling that close to retail if I cop it. It's a decent piece, and it's cool, but it's not like anything that's just like, oh my god, I need this! They're dropping two sweaters. They're dropping a knitted sweater that I think says Love Supreme, um, and they're dropping that in some really ugly colorways, like this olive with red. They're dropping a super fire crew neck, which is kind of ruined with the polo. If you guys like the polo collars, this crew neck is super dope to me. It just basically has like some color blocking, so they got like a blue with lime green color blocking, white with black color blocking, and then black with eh, like a pink or like magenta color blocking, and then it just says Supreme in like a little box. It's not like a box logo, but it says Supreme in a box. I don't know, I don't really like polo collars. It's kind of the same reason I didn't keep the split rugby from like two seasons ago. I just, I'm not a fan of the polo collars. It's gotta be an insane polo for me to keep it and deal with that collar. I don't know, they're dropping some good hats, they're dropping some good beanies. They're dropping the Arc logo loose gauge beanies. I always put on for the loose gauge beanies. I tell you guys every single week or every single time I see these things dropping, the loose gauge beanies are the most comfortable. I don't know how these are gonna fit with the like Arc logo across them because normally the loose gauge beanies, like when you put them all the way down, they they actually like take up your whole head almost like a skull cap beanie but not quite and so i don't know how the arc logo is going to look with that regardless though if you want a good fitting beanie something that's branded that says supreme that's loud there out there crazy then this might be the beanie for you they are also dropping the i love new york beanie i would not cop that beanie but i'm also not from new york so i I don't know, I, maybe if you're a New Yorker, that might be the beanie for you, but that just looks like something that you would buy as a tourist going to New York for like like three days with your I Love New York t-shirt. I'm not a fan of it. They're dropping the Arabic logo, I think six panels. I know this piece is gonna hit. The Arabic logo's hit for sure, so this is going to be a piece that you may want to acquire. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get one. I may get maybe like the black one or the red one. I'm not sure yet. They're dropping some box logos. Now they're dropping a red on black box. And I didn't even notice this actually. Duva was the one that pointed this out. So shout out to Duva and Sleepy. But they brought up a really good point. They don't ever do red on black. Usually whenever they do a black box logo hat, 
it's got a black box logo. It doesn't have a red box logo. And I didn't even realize that when I was looking at the preview. They're dropping this other hat. It's like a corduroy hat. Not a fan. And now we have three more items left to discuss. Uh, the chopsticks and the sake set. Those are Mando. Those are super sick. And I'm going to be acquiring both of those. I might even try to cop two sets of both of them. And then, of course, they're dropping the Doc Martens. Now, the Doc Martens are disgusting. Um, they're actually kind of dope, honestly. If I liked these kinds of shoes, if I liked these, like, dress looking shoes i would acquire them i think they're actually kind of dope i feel like there's a lot of people who have like the the type of people that wear like crop pants um like they have like a really like designer style like i could picture my homie like avery pulling these off or jacob keller pulling these off or who is jacob pulling these off like that's the like the the style i feel like i could i could picture them pulling this off i'm probably gonna see jacob wallace or who is jacob in like a couple days and i really want to get his opinions on these shoes because i feel like I feel like those would go so good with their style. Like, but that's just me personally. Anyways, that's it for the drop list. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry if I was at all quiet. Duva is sleeping. I'm trying to keep my volume, my decibels down. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what your opinions of this drop list are in the comments below. Also, make sure you go follow me on Twitter for Twitter polls, whatever. Make sure you follow me on Instagram to see how I'm styling all the stuff that I cop this season. And trust me, I'm copping a lot. I still have so many fire pictures actually i just got my first picture to hit 12,000 likes 12,000 likes bro that's crazy thank you to each and every one of you because without each and every one of you watching i would probably be flipping burgers at mcdonald's or doing some other job that i just don't want to do anyways i gotta end this video and start the day so as always thank you for watching i appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart and keep living the star life. But new roads bring new scars. We duck and dodge it out of hoopla. Push it to the limit, going too far. That's what it takes to live the star life with two R's. Now they telling me.